Diabetes is well known as a blood sugar disorder. But did you know that it's also one of the leading causes of new blindness in the United States? Fortunately, with early detection and modern treatment, vision can be protected. Diabetes causes many complications, and among the most serious is the risk of damage to the retina, the thin, delicate tissue onto which light is focused at the back of the eye. This damage is known as diabetic retinopathy. In diabetics, the blood vessels nourishing the retina sometimes begin to change, becoming enlarged in some places and smaller in others. Sometimes fragile new vessels develop and then rupture, releasing blood into the clear gel-like material that fills the eye, called the vitreous. Any of these changes can result in loss of vision. Early detection and treatment is vital. The longer a patient has diabetes, the greater the risk of developing diabetic retinopathy. However, with frequent eye examinations, your doctor may be able to catch the disease in a very early stage before any symptoms are noticeable. There are two types of diabetic retinopathy, background retinopathy and proliferative retinopathy. Compare this photograph of a healthy retina to this photograph of a patient with a background retinopathy. The blood vessels which nourish the retina are beginning to change, some of them becoming smaller and some becoming larger. When these vessels leak or rupture, they can cause swelling of the retina and clouding of your vision. If the leaking fluid should build up in the area known as the macula, as it does in some cases, straight ahead vision, reading, and close work could become difficult. Although background retinopathy can in fact lead to legal blindness, it usually does not. This condition is generally considered a warning sign for a more serious stage of the disease that could follow. Proliferative retinopathy begins the same way as background retinopathy, but also includes the growth of new blood vessels on the surface of the retina or on the optic nerve. These blood vessels are extremely fragile and may leak or break. If they do, the vitreous will become cloudy, making it impossible to see. Scar tissue around the ruptured blood vessels may tighten and actually detach the retina from the back of the eye. Your doctor may want to take a series of photographs of your retina using a special test called fluorescein angiography. These pictures will help locate leaking blood vessels and assist in your treatment most commonly with a laser. Lasers are highly focused beams of light that painlessly seal off leaking blood vessels and help prevent the growth of new abnormal blood vessels. In advanced stages of diabetic retinopathy, several sessions of laser treatment may be necessary to cover the retina in a scattering technique called panretinal photocoagulation. Although a certain amount of healthy tissue is destroyed, the growth of new blood vessels that could cause future problems is often stopped. As a result, you may experience loss of side vision and night vision may be more difficult. Other risks associated with laser treatment include hemorrhage and lack of effectiveness. Also, depending on the location of the diabetic retinopathy, how far it's progressed, and if the vitreous is too clouded with blood, it may be advisable to have a surgical treatment called a vitrectomy. This procedure is performed in a hospital and involves replacing the clouded vitreous with a clear artificial solution. In about seven out of 10 cases, vitrectomy patients notice an improvement in their vision. And if the retinopathy involves a detachment of the retina, immediate surgical treatment must be performed to reattach the retina. Since diabetes often leads to visual complications, it's essential for diabetics to schedule a trip to their eye doctor at least once a year. Also, strict compliance to diet and medications are extremely important. With early detection and modern methods of treatment, progression of diabetic retinopathy and loss of vision can often be prevented.